Well, hello everybody. Laguna back here for some more Resident Evil Village. I am terrible at the spooky voice because I am not good at spooky voice. So I'm probably not going to try doing that again. But hey, we're here. Um, the controls for this are... Ugh. You really got to pull the trigger on these. This, these, these adaptive controls are kind of cool. Now, when we were here before, we got the Crimson Skull Fragment things from here, which is fine. This Duke sold, sells some items, so we got that. Uh, we were exploring the castle a little bit more, and we finally got the Iron uh, Insignia Key. Which, when you go through the entrance hall, is, um, I think this was the elevator. I think that was the elevator. But I need to go through the dining room, the courtyard. Apparently there's this thing in the opera hall that I need to finish as well. So I am going to continue uh, searching around. Now, this game is not scary. Okay, I didn't expect Dimitrescu to be there. I'm not going to lie, as much as this game is not scary, her footsteps keep echoing through the chambers, and this is, this is not okay. See, now this room is a safe room. We're good here. Whoops, not pause. This one. It'd be nice if there was a way to keep track of where Dimitrescu is at all times. So the four angels busts are there. So if I loop around to the entrance hall, that is where the elevator is. But I feel like I need to go straight forward up the stairs and through the dining room. Well, there she is. Hi, Dimitrescu. God, she actually has to, like, scooch down to get through doors. That is ridiculous. Okay, so it says I'm still exploring the dining room. So it's kind of cool that Dimitrescu just kind of wanders the halls looking for me. It's honestly, it's actually kind of refreshing. Not in like a, um, and oh my god, she's looking for me, my wife who was coming for me, my wife who has noticed me, not in that weird, 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 really weird way that people are probably thinking. Um, I went the wrong way, I already know. I know I need to go there to the elevator. But if I'm still exploring the courtyard and the opera hall, I may as well, right? 
Okay, why are you guys all around the courtyard? Okay, stop it, please. Oh yeah, that's where the mask was. Oh yeah, because okay, yeah, yeah. So the opera hall is up to the north side. The part that bothers me the most is the fact that the library and the opera hall still say that I am currently searching. I just, I, I don't know. But does that mean that, like, Dimitrescu is searching? Cassandra? Bella? Does it mean that I'm... Really? It was the gunpowder. It just meant that I still had an item to pick up. Okay, I see how it is. I'm assuming this is the item that I need to get from this area. Hey, nice. Sniper ammo. No, oh, okay. There's still one more. Now, I'm not scared of it, but... I guess I'm more apprehensive that Lady Dimitrescu is probably going to like pop up behind me somewhere with her claws in hand. Because I did kind of have to run out of here in a hurry last time. Um, Iron Insignia, yeah. Now this game like really does, like I feel anyway, that it feels like Dark Souls almost in the, the way that it's executed. Actually. Something tells me that the un discovered item in this room is like a crystal glint of some sort. Like I'm supposed to shoot something off of a wall or a, or a ceiling or something and it's going to have like one of those crystal fragments. Or there's a goat that I need to shoot. That would also be an option. I apparently forgot to shoot a goat back in the village. The the shrine that was there. Let's see. Question is, can I see anything that needs to be shot? Or. That's not it. Oh, 
Now, one of the more funs, more more funs, more fun things about this game, though, and I just I find it to be just generally fun. Is the idea that oh there it is actually I do see it. I told you it's going to be a crystal fragment of some sort. Yep, there it is. It's a crystal fragment. Which means the courtyard and the dining room probably also have crystal fragments in them. Same with the tasting room, the distillery, and all that other stuff. Now, I honestly feel, though, that once I take care of Dimitrescu and Cassandra, this entire castle is going to be open for investigation. And I'm looking forward to that. Oh, Lord, Chamber of Solace, Iron Signia Key. Which leads to the kitchen, of course. So if I go through the kitchen next, boom. I think first I'm going to go to the library. Once I get the item that's in the library, I'll come back to the opera hall, back up to the courtyard. Now, where is the glint on this one? Really? It was just shotgun ammo? Fine. So this is nice. It's, it's good. It tells you how many treasures you still need. Well, that doesn't tell you how many, but... At least tells you that there are still treasures. So if out in the courtyard, there's still some treasure somewhere, some when. I would not have been surprised if there was like a glint on the ceiling of this somewhere. Let's keep our eyes peeled, folks. I think we can get this. Part of me feels like the uh, the roof is going to have something that I missed as well. That's actually where I was before, was the roof. That's where I need to go again. Um... Something tells me it's in this jar. There's probably another couple of jars around the property, and that's all it is. So I need to break those open and get the rusted scrap. That ain't it. Let's see here. You know what bothers me in this game, though, is there's no jump button. And I know that's the weirdest thing to be bothered by in a Resident Evil game. They've never had really a jump button. But it just bothers me so much that my character can't jump. no shiny things I can see on the balconies. So. We might be SOL on the courtyard front. Oh, 
unless Okay, I had a good idea on that, but I thought it would work, but I mean it did work, but not as well as I thought it would have. Let's see here. Courtyard. What other secrets do you have hidden? Will I find it or will I have to come back later? God, this is such a good level design too. Like just look at this tower. It's massive. That was such a massive undertaking to just build that tower. Whew. There. We basically only have this central area left to explore. At least as far as I can see. But I think we got everything we need to. Still there's something missing, but you never know. I mean, there's probably an item later on that's going to be like, hey, you completed the game. Now this item is available and now you can see where items are hidden on your map at all times or some weird something like that. Unless that lantern I need to... Or... And this is probably a small little or moment. Or... I killed one of those... Things. And left an item somewhere and I just haven't picked it up. Now the other thing as well is I picked up a treasure map, which is kitchen, dungeon, treasure, that's all it really does say. Um, I think I know exactly where that is, and I think that's the unexplored area that's in the dungeon. So I'm going to come back to the courtyard in my spare time, I'm not, I'm not going to waste more time with this right now. Yep, dining room. Now, is there a glint? There's the glint. Wait, that could be on the ceiling as well. Let me just... I don't see it. But I think it's going to be on one of these. One of these little circles. So let's just let's just wander down and we'll, we'll have a one last loop. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. I don't think it's going to be any of these. Nope. 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 And nope. Forgot about that. That kind of scared me a little. Nothing in there.
That sounds like an enemy is approaching. So I had to run to the kitchens down to here, which there is an iron insignia key, which if that is what I think it is, then I am exactly where I need to be. So right to the, yeah, it's just, just Okay. So down in the dungeon is the, uh, the place to be. Come on, I dare you, you little biznitch. God, so many of you. So I go this way. There we go. Pipe bomb, okay. Now, theoretically, What's this? Handgun ammo. Special chambers, okay. And that says... Crumbling wall. So I think I do need to lay a pipe bomb by the... <laughs> pipe bomb. Blah, 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 blah. Pipe bomb by this wall. So if I were just to... I'll take those, but there's a secret puzzle in this one, I know for a fact. And if I were a gambling man, which kind of I am, because, you know, crypto and stuff like that.
There we go. Let's just go. Just need to light that on fire. So, so close. So close. There we go. That's the stuff I needed. This is where it's going to get a little bit interesting, because I need to, like... Come on. Is there, like, there's no way that I can grab this, and that's the problem I'm having. Let's just try it this way. Come on. So, so, so close. Okay. This is obviously not working out in my favor. Come the f fuck on. Now, I get it that metal things are heavy, but this is a little ridiculous. There's a such thing as pendulum action, and this is not following the laws of pendulum attraction. That is the wrong button, but sure, let's heal. Unless that's supposed to light from those candles. That's the only thing else I can think of here. So let's try it. Okay, so if that doesn't work, then if I do this... What am I fucking supposed to do? Come on. 
I hate puzzles like this. I actually hate puzzles that don't follow laws of physics. It's like, hey, make these bounce into each other and they don't fucking bounce the way they're supposed to. They just bounce once and then go stagnant. It's like my ex wife No, I'm kidding. Is there anything I have that can cause fire? Maybe if I shoot a bullet through here? Although... I just realized I can shoot these with bullets. There we go. Fucking bullets was the key. Now what's in here? An azure eye. Is that a key? Whoops. Is that a treasure or? It is a treasure. A blue gemstone that looks like an eye. Okay. And that was literally the entire sort of thing. So if I go backwards through the Chamber of Solace, the tasting room and this room also have key items or hidden items. Let's do it. If I remember though, this area is where I fell down from before. A little nervous with the music, but hey. <sighs> okay. So it is the upper floor that has something hidden inside of it. It's But hey, whoa. Wait, I already read that. That was the woman who said she wanted to get out. So I need to find a way to get back to the distillery. This is interesting. I like this I like map layouts like this where there's so many little nooks and crannies. Is it just me or am I missing something here? There it is. So dark. There we go. If I go around the corner, around the wall, through here, up the stairs.
to here. There we go. We're going to have to craft. Okay, so the courtyard is fine. Everything else is fine. Um, we were down in the dungeon before. This is the room. So the distillery. So if there's a ladder there. Dimitrescu's chambers. Right, because the ladder led down. Right, because I didn't want to walk all the way around. And that's exactly where that was. Rooftops and I was still exploring, apparently. So to get to the distillery. Hmm. I need to find out how to get back to the distillery at this point. from the terrace save point it looks like that's where I would need to be which I was in the hall of ablution to get down that's what it was because I released the statues so how do we get to the hall of ablution is it this one I think I need to go into this door Definitely this door. Well, here we go. It's nice being able to go through and explore a bunch of stuff. Yeah, see, there we are. Now we just seem to find out what we missed here, and then we can go back to the elevator. They nailed the music in this game, though, like the background stuff. Like, this is really well done. Because, like, as soon as I enter here, even though there's, like, probably no monsters. Because I probably got them all. It's still just so well done, like... Even if all the monsters are dead, the music is making me feel like... Really? A rusted spine. I deserve that one. Because, like, this, there's nothing popping up. There's, there's no mobs. There's no... There's nothing. But the music, oh my god, the background, like... 
wailing moan of whatever music instruments they use is just it's amazing i love it okay so the courtyard is the only one i need to explore that was obviously something i'll have to come back to Or we can just do it. We can find out what the fuck out here has needed to be done, and we can do it. Something tells me it's like up on the walls or something. Like it's it's got to be something like ridiculously well hidden, and it's probably something trophy related too. Like it's probably like. Use the sniper rifle to blast a crystal off of, like, that point up there. Like... When it's well hidden like this, like, you know it's something that's... Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it's up on that seal. Okay, I don't see it. Really? It was a fucking herb? Mm. Doesn't that just grind your gears? Okay, so I'm going to need to run straight through and down the stairs and go to the merchant's room. Which I'm assuming is a safe room based on everything here. Now... B2, nothing. So the rooftops I need to get to, which I know is this elevator here. Which I came from the attic. So all that was me. So I should go down here and see if there's anything on that roof. If there's not, then I can come back up by the elevator. Whoops. And do my loop around. What's this? Oh. And that leads to the armory. So first things first, I'm going to go over to the merchant's room. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to do it. I'm going to run over to the main hall, past the dressing room, and I'm going to go into the hall of pleasure. That's going to be my next step. Then I'll save my game. Then I'll take the elevator to the rooftops. Because I think with the key items, I only have two masks and I need four. So next room, up the stairs. And straight ahead. Okay. Just to make sure Dimitrescu's not there too. Which I can see her hat already. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Cold air. Cold air. Really? Oh, no, you fucking don't. All right. To the merchant room.
seeking something in particular. Oh yeah. I'm seeking you to take my crystal fragments, my crystal skulls, my azure eye, and realistically ah. that's about it. Ah. Gunsmith. Well, my le Lemmy is already maxed. Leave this to me. Sure. Maxed guns. Until I get to the armory, then I'm probably going to get another gun, and then I'm just going to have enough space and all this other crap, and yeah, you, you know exactly how it goes. I've gotten some new stock. Oh, good. Maybe some lockpicks. Probably not, but hey. Oh, I could have used the baggage. Recipes would be nice. Oh my, it won't fit in your bag. That's fair. Um... See, this is where I could use an extra storage bag. You know what? Let's just cancel the purchase for now. Please come again. Please come again. How about now? Now, I would not be surprised if Dimitrescu's at the top of the stairs waiting for me. I can hear the footsteps. There she is. Of course she comes around that corner. She's got such a big stride. So realistically what I need to do is I need to wait for her to go into that door over there. She's fucking tall. Trying to work up my appetite, are you? <laughs> of course she shows up Okay. Ooh. 
Nothing in that one. I'll take the ring, no problems there. Something tells me, though. There we go. There we go. And now back up to the armory. But you know something's going to attack me. It's an armory. I... Crap. <laughs> Okay, so I need to... That's a... You curse you! You know, I feel bad for killing you. No! Why? Are you dead? So sorry, you were really beautiful. I want to say young as well, but but let's face it, you were probably old. There we go. Really, the armory is okay. There's still something in here. Now, what would I possibly be missing in this armory? Hmm. There it is up there. I'm assuming that's a treasure item. I kind of knew that something would attack me as soon as I saw the armory. Interesting. So that's actually locked. Can't use this as is. Okay. Yeah, because that's not at all creepier than it was. So I should be able to run to the main hall, down the stairs, 
hang our right, go down to the hall of the four, and then merchant's room. And that'll be my save point for the day. Well, for the day, but for now. Because when I get to here, there's still this whole other section that I haven't gone through yet. But I need to take the elevator up to do that first, so that'll be my next step. Okay, lady, you're in the fucking done way. In by the likes of you? Yes. Done in by the likes of me. There. That's all I wanted was to get by you. You're so fucking tall and... Dare I say it, busty. But I can't get by unless I lure her to another section of the fucking hallway. So, hooray for that. Well then, feel free to Not bitter, just slight oversight on the game's part. Just, just really slightly... Interesting, that's combinable, so let's, uh, let's only sell the valuables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yes. I would love to have some inventory expansion. Expand me, daddy. Yes, I can see why you'd be interested in that. Oh, you can. Good. Good, good, good. I would like to learn those recipes, but no, not for now. What are you buying? What are you buying? Thank Ooh. you for your patronage. You wish to make a purchase? That's a lot of expansion. Screw it. Thank you for your patronage. You're welcome. Cool. So we have the third mask, and we've finished all the secrets, except for the courtyard. But the courtyard still eludes me for some reason. I just... There's just something missing about it. It's just... There's just something I'm not seeing, and I, I, it's, it's probably out in the open, and... Well, it's going to be out in the open. It's the courtyard. But it's just, just something missing. But anyway... Third mask, hooray. We have one more mask to go, and I think it's on the rooftops, but we'll we'll have a look next time. For now, though, as always, thanks for watching on this journey. But, as always, happy gaming, and the Guna Matata.